Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You're here on the home of the slightly above average ship review. I'm your host KPZ. Today we're in a match on the other tier three premium battleship for the United States. Obviously the South Carolina, available to everybody, but we are in the Arkansas Founders Edition. There you saw a quick look at the teams on this map. I think it's called Northern Waters, but it's the zoomed in version of Northern Waters. It's not the, uh, not the normal version. It's the zoomed in version. All right, so I gotta be honest with you. This was supposed to be a South Carolina video, but I've been getting absolutely clobbered in the South Carolina. Either commander, doesn't matter. I get pinned from all angles, citadeled from all angles. Like enemy Wyoming's, any other enemy battleship, including enemy South Carolinas. My uh, accuracy's horrible. I'm using almost fully max commanders. Don't know how to explain it. So I decided to take a break from trying to get a good game in the South Carolina and went back to the Arkansas. I believe we're running Billy Sims in it this time. Just wanted to try it out because the South Carolina on paper has better secondaries. So we do have secondary spec here, but I am running Billy Sims to see how that affects the Arkansas. Maybe if I can get a little bit better accuracy out of these six uh, turrets. So, got a Visby over here. We are down tier. We're doing our best. And we just shoot the front two turrets at him. As you can see, the glacial turret traverse. How long it takes all these turrets to turn. But I do not want to sacrifice that slot one uh, to anything other than the secondary battery mod. All right, got a Wyoming over there as well. Maybe we will fight him. As you can see, my secondaries are starting to go off. I did activate my secondaries. I'm trying to line up the Visby for a shot. And we do take him out. But we take him out with uh, the close quarters expert. So first blood metal, close quarters expert metal. And thankfully we took out the Visby for our first kill. All right, take a look at this map. I was trying to avoid all these little islands because destroyers hide in there. And unfortunately, just based on the way the map is laying out, I think we're gonna have to go over here and mess with the Farragut. I really didn't want to do that, but I don't think there are any other options. Uh, there's a destroyer way over there. There's a cruiser behind me, another cruiser kind of in front of me. We will shoot at the Farragut and hit him and disable his torpedoes, probably momentarily to disable them. Uh, Britannia over here, and I believe the far battleship, which just went off visual, is a Corvée. <clears throat> so, oh, sorry, Kirov. And they just took out the blue team Visby over there. So basically, you can see everybody else fell back behind me, and I am the lead ship on this edge of where the enemy is at. All right, so the Kirov, we're gonna line him up for a full salvo, all six turrets. We are shooting HE, by the way. Look at that, three, two, three, two citadels. Two citadels and full value from an HE salvo from a pretty good distance away. I was amazed by that one. I was like, holy cow. Why switch to armor piercing when you can do that? So that made me pretty happy, but I know that there's a battleship right here. There he is. I know the Farragut is also over here. I'm very worried about that. Meanwhile, in the background, our team is being totally eradicated. I find it very odd. I either have a game where my team waffle stomps the enemy team and I either get a crack in or I do nothing, or my team gets absolutely erased, and I end up fighting everybody on the other team. All right, another salvo there. I underestimated his travel. However, we do take him out with some more HE. Uh, yeah, I would really love some assistance, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. All right, secondaries have kicked in apparently, and they're shooting at the Britannia. 
and we're going to go bow on here. Not that this ship has an armor profile meant for bow tanking, but that's really the only option other than expose too much of our side to get around the island in front of us. So we're going to turn in. We do fix our secondaries on the Britannia. I recommend doing that, but that's also why I frequently say negative or set a smoke screen because I'm trying to do it really quick and the comms wheel doesn't catch on to what I'm trying to do. We, we set them on fire again. The secondaries are going off. However, the secondary battery charge is running out. That salvo really didn't do a whole lot and was pretty disappointing. I was just hoping to catch them on fire, but I may have forgotten that this was a French ship, not a German ship. And so we do switch to armor piercing because I think I'm going to have a better chance of setting them on fire. Now you can see we have a double fire going on and there's over a minute for our damage con to come back online. All alone, isolated from my team, Farragut coming in. So I switched the secondaries to the Farragut and just trying to get a good salvo out here on the Britannia. That was okay. Next to okay, not great. Last turret didn't really do anything. Thankfully, we have a huge advantage in hit points, so even though I'm in a very vulnerable position right now, I can at least manage to take a hit and not be dead. And so we're just going to circle around him to the other side, where his turrets presumably, maybe the rear turrets are, but the front turrets aren't facing us. So we have the advantage here. And we are going to get this reload here in a second and finish him off, although we are going to eat two torpedoes from the Farragut. So we hit our damage con to stall the flooding. We already switched back to HE. We're just looking to close in on the Farragut. Hopefully he shot all his torpedoes and he's doing his backing maneuver, which I'm not sure I agree with, but whatever. I'm not complaining. You see the turrets lining up. We're going to give him the full salvo here. There it goes, and we don't finish him off. Yikes. Secondaries don't fail me now. So this is really uh, tedious down to the last bit of health. Hit the heel. What are you waiting for? Good grief. We needed that right there. Just barely escaped by the skin of our chinny chin chin. Also dodging carrier torpedoes in the background. Thankfully, he launched those way too soon. All right, I would really love some assistance, but I know I'm not going to get any because I'm over here all by myself. More torpedoes coming in. Somehow, again, we managed to dodge them. Keep in mind the Arkansas and the South Carolina, both of them do not have any AA capabilities at all. Farragut pops up, we finish them off, and so we are officially in the hunt for a Kraken, folks. Four kills in the bag. And we eat some torpedoes. The end. Oh, it was painful. It was painful to me. All right, milestones, blah, blah, blah. Yes, black video upcoming. All right, we ended up with the uh, close quarters expert, the first blood medal, got the daily boost salted away, and we ended up at the top of the board and lost. Not too impressive except for the kills. The enemy Wyoming had a crack in, so GG to you, sir. Anyway, I'm sorry this video is on short notice. Really busy working this week. Don't have time to upload anything. South Carolina, you're breaking my heart right now. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next video.